today I'm going to give away a free t-shirt, bring you a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight, bring you comics news, and reveal the books I bought this week. How y'all doing? I'm Victor, and you are watching the Comic Hero Show. Now kick that logo! week's edition of the Comic Hero Show. I'm your host Victor Nelly and I am the Comic Hero. The first episode of 2019 and really excited about this year, really excited about um, a lot of things that I'm going to be doing this year. I'm um, going to be going to a few cons. Um, just a lot. And and I know uh, 2019 is going to be a great year. It's not just going to be a great year for me. I really want it to be a great, a great year for y'all. You'll know, never settle on what you've done previously. Always try to get better. Make this year the best year that you've ever lived. Because that's what I'm going to do. All right, it's time to give away a free t-shirt. All right, in the last episode, I asked, who created Aquaman? Well, the correct answers are Paul Norris and Mort Weisinger. Now, if you would have said either Paul, Mo Paul Norris or Mort Weisinger, I accepted your answers. And seven people have answered correctly, and because they've answered correctly, your names have been entered in the drawing for a free tee. And that drawing takes place right now. So the winner of the free tee for this week's episode of the show is... Catherine Evans from Benton, Louisiana. So congratulations, Catherine. You've given yourself a free comic hero tee. All right, here's the question for next week's episode, and this is a Superman question. True or false? In addition to directing Superman from 1978, Richard Donner also once co-wrote a few issues of Action Comics. Everyone who answers correctly, you've been in the drawing for a free tea in next week's episode of the show. All right, now Curtis Harris from Warren, Ohio, has requested a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight, and this one features two of the strongest characters in the Marvel Universe. Representing Marvel, we have The Thing. And also representing Marvel, we have Strong Guy. These two are going to duke it out in a segment I like to call... The, the Comic, Comic Hero, Hero Throwdown, Throwdown Showdown. Showdown. Welcome to the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Today, it's The Thing versus Strong Guy. The Thing is a skilled street fighter and hand-to-hand -hand combatant who possesses superhuman strength, stamina, and durability, rock-like skin, Excellent dexterity, above average reflexes, and enhanced lungs. Strong Guy possesses superhuman strength, which he can increase by absorbing kinetic energy and use it to enhance his physical strength to an unmeasured limit. However, he cannot store the energy he absorbs for very long. As a rule, he must physically expend the energy within 90 seconds to prevent it from permanently distorting his body. He is in constant pain from the existing distortion, although he hides it well. He also possesses superhuman stamina and durability. Who will win? To say there would be a lot of punching in this fight would be an understatement. The Thing would start out by delivering vicious blows to Strong Guy, but the latter would absorb the punches in order to enhance his strength. Strong Guy understands that he has 90 seconds to land some hits on the Thing. He attempts to do so, but the Thing would dodge every hit and even deliver a few drop toll holds. 90 seconds comes and goes and Strong Guy is in a pain stupor. The Thing ends the fight by flicking his index finger against Strong Guy's face, knocking him out cold. The Thing wins, and that concludes this fight on the Comic, Comic Hero, Hero Throwdown Showdown. Showdown. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed that fight, and if you have fight requests for future episodes, contact info is down there. Alright, folks, it's time for Congly Speaking, so without further ado, let's talk comics! Alright, there are three things we're going to talk about in this segment of Congly Speaking. The first one is the earth shattering news of the sudden retirement of George Perez. Now, George Perez is one of the greatest comics artists to have ever lived. 
Um, he has been successful uh, with both DC and Marvel. Um, with DC, he is um, he's both written and uh, drawn issues of Wonder Woman and Superman. And for Marvel, he has uh, done the artwork for books such as Avengers and Fantastic Four. Um, I actually have several issues of Avengers that he's done, and also several issues of Superman. And um, I've also also have some issues of uh, well, one issue of Fantastic Four that that was a reprint that was originally done back in '76. But Perez. He was one of the, the major heavyweights uh, of comics artists. Um, he, I mean, any, anywhere from the, excuse me, from the 60s to, to now. Um, I mean, Perez is up there with John Romita Sr., Steve Dicko, Jack Kirby, um, Mike Grell, uh, Barry Windsor Smith. I mean, I, I could just go on and on with you know so so many artists that have I mean no one did it like he did I mean he put a lot of detail in his artwork um, really loved his run on, on Avengers with um, with Kurt Busiek back at night that started in 1997 and ended in um, I think it was either 2000 or 2001 um, that had to be one of the most legendary runs, and I, I really love the Ultron story arc that he and Busiek did. That that I mean, that their entire both their entire run on together on Avengers was histo was historic. I mean, a masterpiece, and he'll be sorely missed in the. Uh, well, I mean, well, he's not dead, but. But you know, happy but happy retirement, George. And you know, I, thank you, thank you so much. All right, now the second thing that I'm going to talk about is a new character in the pages of X Men by the name of Major X. Now, this um, this character was created by, by Rob Liefeld. Now, if that name sounds familiar, he created Deadpool. And there, there's been speculation as to who the um, the identity of Major X is. There, some folks have been saying that it's Cyclops. Um, after reading um, Extermination, which was this mini series that just ended, which um, pretty much it um, sets up the uh, the future of the X Men. When the younger version of Cable comes back to his own time and goes to his safe house, he finds uh, he finds Cyclops. Now, what I want to know is how did Cyclops how is Cyclops alive? Because after all, he he did die, not once but twice. He first died um, in. I mean, he first died in uh, Avengers vs. X Men, and then he, and then he died in another in another uh, mini series from from Marvel. And I'm still trying to figure out, like, like, how can he be back? I mean, what did what did the younger Nathan Summers do to to save his dad? But you know, that uh, I'm quite sure that that's a question that's gonna that's gonna be answered real soon, and I, I can't wait to find out. All right, and the last thing, Samuel L. Jackson has, has said that he would love to play the role of Nick Fury for at least 10 more Marvel movies. I'm all for that. Because Samuel L. Jackson has done such a... I mean, he's a great actor in general, but he... I mean, what he's done with Nick Fury in, the cinema, in a Marvel Cinematic Universe has been nothing short of, 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 of amazing. Um, now, he wouldn't have been ever casted as Samuel L. Jackson if it weren't for Brian Hitch. Now, the reason I say that, unless you already unless you already know, Samuel L. Jackson um, was the um, well. Brian Hitch used Samuel L. Jackson's likeliness to create 
the Nick Fury in the in Marvel's Ultimate line of books back in 2001. And Fury was so flattered that he said that if there was ever the op that the opportunity ever arose that there would be a Marvel movie and Nick Fury would be proud of it, he wanted in. And Marvel jumped without hesitation, jumped to the chance. So would I love to see Nick Fury in, in some more Marvel movies? Oh, you bet. You bet. And I mean, he's going to be in another one. He's going to be in uh, Captain Marvel, which comes out March 8th. And I can't wait to see it. All right, that's it for Comically Speaking. Now let's get to the comics I bought this week. Comic books I bought this week. All right, first up is Avengers number 12. The Green Lantern number three. Miles Morales Spider-Man number two. Uncanny X-Men number nine. As Guardians of the Galaxy number four. Detective Comics number 992. Detective Comics number 993. Detective Comics number 994. Detective Comics number 995. X Force number one. Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man number one. Return of Wolverine number three. Thor number eight. And finally, Thor number nine. Alright, that's 14, which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 to 9,090. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed this week's episode, and here's a question again for a free tea for next week's episode of the show. True or false? In addition to directing Superman in 1978, Richard Donner also once co-wrote issues of Action Comics. Everyone who answers correctly will be entered in the drawing for a free tea in next week's episode of the show. And congratulations to Catherine Evans from Benton, Louisiana, who won a free tea in this week's episode. Now, here's the road ahead for the show. Um, now, this is tentative because I'm, there is a, a comics convention that I'm planning on going to in, um, in Irving, Texas called the North Texas Comic Show. And there's going to be a bevy of writers and artists there. And um, I'm not. I'm still a little undecided about whether I want to go or not. But one thing's for sure: if I go, yeah, I will do an episode there, and I will try to get some interviews. Uh, and also, at in, in the middle of March is Louisiana Comic Con in Lafayette. I'm definitely going to that. That that's there is there are no ifs ands buts or maybes. I am going. Uh, but if there's any episodes that are done, that are going to be done here, they're going to be Mardi Gras themed. Because I'm a Louisiana boy, and that's how I roll. All right, now, um, I really mean it, folks. You know, this is a new year, 2019. We're we're already almost a month into, into the new year. And um, make 2019 your best year. 
if, if 2018 was a great year, if you had if you had a great year, make 20, then do all you can to make 2019 a great year. I mean, if there's something that you've always wanted to do that you've never done in prior years, go for it. Don't hesitate. As long as it's productive. I mean, I'm, I'm doing, I mean, I'm getting a lot of stuff done, you know, this year. Um, you know, I'm spending more time with my family. Um, uh, being a, being a, a harder worker. I'm, you know, I'm, uh, you know, and then I'm striving to be better at making making shirts uh, for my mom and I, my mom and I's t-shirt business. And uh, I know the best is always yet to come. So always make so the best is always yet to come for y'all as well. So never settle. Be better. Do better. All right, I'm Victor Nelly. I'm the comic here. I'll see you next week for episode two forty two. So until then, be safe, be blessed, be a hero!